Well, over in Central Asia, the landlocked nation of Kazakhstan is also benefiting from the Belt and Road Initiative. One of the primary goals of the Chinese-backed Astana International Financial Center is to boost funding for projects under the Belt and Road. Now, CGTN's John Terrett recently caught up with Kairat Kelimbetov at the Bloomberg Forum in New York. Kelimbetov is the governor of Astana International Financial Center. John began by asking about the center's benefits. I think it was a recent visit of President of Kazakhstan Tokayev to China. It was a signing ceremony between uh, President Tokayev and President Xi Jinping in terms of a strategic partnership. It means more uh, bigger size of the economic cooperation. And in order, uh, uh, let's say, to have a good cooperation, not j only between two countries, but developing of the entire Central Asia region, we have to have uh, the financial hub in Central Asia. And we agreed that the Astana International Financial Center can be such a hub for Belt and Road Initiative in Central Asia. So how will it work on a day-to-day -day basis? What will change now? So first of all, Astana International uh, Financial Center is a common law jurisdiction where we created the new financial center based, uh, and also we have a, a new stock exchange, which is a, like a joint venture between us, Nasdaq, and uh, Shanghai Stock Exchange. So it means that the upcoming privatization in Kazakhstan and, uh, let's say, many other financial transactions will happen in our stock exchange under our uh, regulation uh, authorities. Tell us more about that, because having a stock exchange gives you a focal point, doesn't it? It gives you something that you can tangibly see and work towards. It's very yeah. important when it yeah. comes to attracting investment. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, because we are part of the structural reform in Kazakhstan in terms of the diversification of economy out of the, uh, let's say, uh, only dependence on uh, resources, so we want uh, to decrease the role of the, uh, of the state and the economy, of the government. And a huge plan of the privatization, the uh, uh, 10 companies belongs to the government, which is 40% of GDP would be privatized. We already started privatization of the biggest uranium company. Next year is the biggest oil and gas company, which means that all these companies are somehow related or exporting to China or logistics company, which is uh, working in terms of e connectivity. So this is the first part of the development of capital markets uh, in, uh, in the region. The other side is a, a listing of the many companies which are uh, located uh, uh, in uh, Kazakhstan or in Central Asia. So here we're thinking about opportunities for many companies. So recently the Russian biggest uh, mining giant Polymetal been listed in our stock exchange. And we do believe that the opening up of the economy in, uh, in Uzbekistan is also good opportunities for the future. But the RMB, Chinese currency, is at the center of all this, isn't it? How does that help Kazakhstan? We have the, uh, also plan and we agreed with uh, Chinese uh, financial authorities is that uh, the AAFC in the future can be uh, the renminbi uh, offshore clearing center. So it means that there will be more uh, credits uh, uh, provided in uh, Chinese currency. Uh, already the f biggest Chinese bank, China Construction, commercial bank, China Construction Bank, established their presence, they opened their branch office in Kazakhstan, and we do believe that the, the other uh, commercial banks were also is coming. And also the Chinese Development Bank is the biggest uh, uh, development bank in the world, uh, also established their presence. So we do believe that the AAFC would be infrastructure financing facility hub for development, not just the physical infrastructure, but also to serve the, for financial connectivity. Now, I understand there's a financial regulatory framework for green investing as well. The green topic is the issue of the day, of the hour, of the minute. What do you propose? Yeah, first of all, we, uh, when we created the financial authorities, we, uh, for us, benchmark was uh, like a financial conducting authorities in London or monetary authorities in Singapore, very pro-business oriented. And one of the ideas is actually uh, to create new uh, financial industries like uh, fintech, like green finance. So we are part of the climate bond initiative. Uh, we are part of the uh, green uh, principle uh, initiative in China. So we're now working on the green taxonomy together with the government. Uh, and we uh, recently established the special rules in our stock exchange, which is allowed to issue first green bonds. We expect in the next uh, 12 months that we first uh, green bonds of the municipalities of the city of Nur Sultan would be listed in our stock exchange. Now, Kazakhstan is a member of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. What do you think this new initiative that you're now talking about and will move forward from here, what will it do for security? 
I think uh, the Shanghai uh, uh, cooperation uh, organization being created for the uh, political uh, and security issue. So it's uh, first, uh, uh, let's say, uh, six uh, countries focus more on uh, border control and like a more friendly relationship after the Soviet Union collapse. And now I think is a more, uh, let's say, econ economy and business-wise development. And I think there is a huge synergy between uh, this organization and the Belt and Road Initiative. As more uh, bigger would be the business and economic cooperation, uh, it would be better rela strategic relationship between us. And I think the AFC will play not only role for the one country like Kazakhstan, but also for connectivity of the entire region. Now, finally, the Belt and Road Initiative is a 100-year initiative, maybe even more. You've been in the job for four years. Where do you see this hub in Kazakhstan being in, say, five and then ten years' time? Yeah, I think the Belt and Road Initiative for Central Asia is the restoring ancient Silk Road, which is a thousand years of history. Right. And we actually like to joke, like, let's make Silk Road great again. And uh, I think uh, the AFC will play a significant role on this.